Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl coming at you from DirectionToSuccess.com. So you and I, we are going to create our first email series in GetResponse using the GetResponse autoresponder. So let's go. All right. So you got get response open, you're in your dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a list created. This is where the email address is going to go. Then when we create our autoresponder, it's going to be attached to that list. So I'm just going to give you an idea overall, like I'm going to go through the list, go through like a typical autoresponder setup, and then we'll do bits and pieces for creating a new one just to give you an idea of how to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you back into some contact lists that I have. And the one I want to do is down here at the very bottom. I'm going to talk about this one here, this S Sand Prospects, right? Underscore one. So if you don't have a list created, you're going to go up here and create a list. All you're going to do is give your list a name. And I just don't want to put one in right now because GetResponse won't let you <laughs> reuse that name once it's in the database. So, but you're going to type a list here that means something to you, right? So you're going to recognize this. So this newly created list or what we're going to connect to our autoresponder in a few minutes here. So if you open the list up right now, you can see this. There's no names in this list. It's a fresh list. So, so that's the list. So once you create that, we're going to go into the email marketing section. And when you come to the top here, we're going to go under autoresponders. And if you come over here in the top left, you're able to filter out all the other lists. So I've got a, many different lists in here, but this is the one we just talked about here in the very bottom, right? The San underscore prospects underscore one. I'm just going to check that in the filter and hit apply. So what we have here, let me just try to, there we go. It's good enough, I guess. Um, so now what I've got are these five consecutive emails that go out. So the, this first one is when somebody opts into my list, this email here, this one of five, will automatically go out. And then the following day, this the second email will go out, and then the third email, fourth email, and fifth email. And that's how this works. So what I'm going to do, so these... These have been created ahead of time, like I'm saying before. We're going to go through, and I'm going to show you exactly how to create the email, but I just want to show you how an autoresponder is set up. This is what we're trying to work to in today's video. So I'm not going to take you through all these because it gets to be pretty much monotonous after a while, but I want to just come all the way over to the right, and I'm just going to click on Edit, so I'm clicking on one of five. And for this autoresponder, I just gave it a name here, right? Chapter 1 of 5, hey. Now, what you're going to do is tell it what days you want this to go out when somebody opts in. So when there's a zero here for a value, it's going to go out immediately. And that's typically your first one. That's what you want to have, have happen. And we're going to just come down here. So you're going to do... You're going to pick the list, and this is what I was telling you about before. This is connecting this autoresponder to lists that I already have in GetResponse. So here's my SAN prospects. So it's already attached to that list. And you notice this message, well, this email, sorry, will go out immediately. Now we can delay that. You know, if you want to, I'm not going to select that. So you can delay up to, I believe, 24 hours. I don't know why you'd ever want to delay, right? People are in a hurry to send stuff and receive stuff, all that in today's world. But anyhow, the next thing, you can filter out what days you do not want this email to be sent. So today, say today's Saturday, and if I don't have these checked, and somebody opts in today, 
it will wait till Monday to send it out. Um, again, I don't know why you would want to wait, right? I always have things go as quick as can be, right? It's they need it yesterday or want to send out as quick as possible. So like I said, if you need to, if you find out like Thursdays and Fridays aren't good days to send out email, then that's what you do. You just uncheck it. The next thing you're going to do now for this autoresponder, you're going to create a new email message. And like I'm going to show you as soon as we're done here um, that this is blank. So we're going to have to go through. But now this is the email I have in here. If I want to make changes, I can go in and edit this message. So I'm already showing you a created autoresponder. So you, you're going to give it a message name. This is basic. This is used for your records. The subject is what the person will see when they receive your email, right? This is the subject of your email. Now, I want to talk about, oh, before I get, get off subject, I'm sorry, I want to just mention one thing real quick. You can personalize that subject. So if on your landing page, if you take their name, a last name, first name, whatever, you can add this field. So if I want to go like, this won't make sense, but if I put a space after the five and I want to grab their first name that came down from, say, my landing page, if that's where they're opted in, I just click on that name field. So if their name's John, it would this would just read, hey, chapter one of five, John. Um, so that's how that works. Just to let you know, you can personalize your head uh, headlines a little bit or subjects a little bit. The next thing I want to mention, and this is very important, you... For your from email, you do not want to use, sorry, you don't want to use a um, public email like Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, any of the free email clients you don't want to use. If you do, most email services treat this as spam and they take your the email you're sending and that would be one reason why it would hit the spam folder. What you have to do is create a private email address. To do that, you need to create a domain at one of the registrars like GoDaddy, Namecheap, and then once you register that domain, you're going to create a private email address under that domain. And you can create multiple email addresses under a single domain. There's no problem with that. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video that shows you how to do that for Namecheap. So setting up a private email address for Namecheap and I'll leave a link below in the description. So that is definitely one thing you want to do. The other thing you want to do is like your from and reply, these should match. All right, um, these always should match because get response, I can't remember what it was called now, there's some error message that you get and I'm not sure why you'd want them different um, if somebody knows, leave a comment below. That would be great because I'd love to know. And then the next thing you're going to do, this is the actual section where you actually compose the email. I just have to wait. So this is an email I've done here already, right? And once you, so you'd sit here for, you know, type away, type away, you know, create your email. And then, then you'd want to go to the next step. And this will bring you back to the beginning where we were in our edit autoresponder. So now you have two choices. If you if I hit save here, the email will go to my list or stay in the auto. I mean the autoresponder will stay get created with all the updates. If you do save and publish, then it enables the autoresponder. So I'm going to explain that real quick. We're going to go look at the list. I'm just going to select cancel here because I don't want any changes I've made in this video. So let me just bear with me a second. I'm going to go back into email autoresponders. And you can see right now I have the, if you look in the status line right here, the column, sorry, these will be showing you that it's active or not. So if somebody opted into my landing page that I have this list connected to, they would not get an email. You do this if you're still in the you know works, you know, still in the middle of like creating or updating your email. To simply have it turned on, all you have to do is click right here. So then for me to start have my series started, 
I now they would receive so somebody opts in they will now receive this email for the day they opt in next day this one next day this one this one then this one but I'm still working on them so I definitely want to leave them off so that's an autoresponder you know from like a 30,000 foot level so now what I want to do is show you just the steps in creating a new one so if I go in here over to the right and you're gonna just say create new autoresponder or create autoresponder and you're going to give it a name oops yeah let's try to do something like this we'll call it test dash zero zero one you will obviously want to pick a better name and if this is the first of your series, right, you want to immediately have it go out, put a zero. Then you're going to come down, select the list. I'm just selecting Sand Prospects again. And I want it to go out immediately. And I want this to go out any day of the week. It doesn't matter. So if anybody opts in any of the seven days of the week, they'll automatically receive this email. So this is what I want to show you now. We're going to go in and create a new email. And I'll just show you just some things that I normally do after I create it. So here again, this will be for your information only, right? This isn't something that they'll see. Now, this is something where you want to create, you know, your subject line. You want somebody to grab their attention, right? I'm just going to use this right now, just, hey, chapter 105. But you want to think of something, right? Because this is so important. This is an as important as the body of your email and once again so here's my from email address so lamar at direction to success.com so not too much here got to take a little work in the subject line right and remember how i showed you can personalize take you know their first name or last name you can add that into the subject line automatically get response will do that for you so this is where you're going to now compose the body of your email so what I norm this is what I normally do. I don't use like these are beautiful templates. I don't use those. I always start from scratch because I like to just keep my e emails plain. And I, then when I come down to the bottom, they still have like layout templates here you can do. But I just come all the way to the bottom, which is essentially a blank screen. And then what you're gonna do. The, they have all these different elements over here on the side, right? You can add in, like, just spa spacers. This is the one you're going to use a lot, right? Where you're going to add te your text in here. And you, I'm going to show you how to format and everything. And you can also add images by using this particular element. Uh, here's some combinations, right? So you can have an uh, image and some, a paragraph, left justified, right justified. And there's a whole host of other things you can do just to try to keep this video short I'm just gonna let you guys figure that part out so if you have any questions on that though I'll be glad to answer them just put a comment below in the video but once you select like if you want to add text I'm just selecting the text holding it down with my left mouse button and I'm dragging it over um, it's just taking a while here it looks like I don't know what's it's thinking it usually goes right away. Let me. Oh, we had something. Looked like we had something. I'm not quite sure. Let's give it a. S Anything to increase this video, huh? I can probably edit this out. I am not sure what's going on. Oh, there we go. It was just me, the user as usual. Okay, so this is just filler text in here, right? I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to really put any text and type because I already spent a lot of time but you know you can just select different pieces of text right you can make them bold and um, if you wanted to take like uh, let's see hold on let's make this I don't know this text doesn't make sense but if there's like some like click this link for whatever right you can add a hyperlink and so you would select that section of the text you want hypertext you're gonna come down here and click on the link button you would add your URL in here right so you could do something like so that would be a URL and we say okay so you can see how it, it basically turned it into a hyperlink 
and you can definitely like Arial is like the default font, but you can change it. You know, like these are just the system fonts right now that I have on my system. So you can change any of these. You can change the height and the color, and it's typical word processing. You know function so there's not too much there the other thing I like doing right now this would be down the center justified in their email when they read it I like to have everything formatted over to the left and as you go down the email right everything looks more old school to me that's just me my opinion but that's all I do so this is where you're gonna compose your email and once you're done with that you're just gonna come down to the right and click on next step and you're back to create autoresponder. So now we've created our, let's just kind of review. We have our autoresponder name. This is just for you, like nobody else will see this. When do you want the, um, the to start after the opt-in's done? So the, this is the first one in my series. So this is day zero. Sand prospects, that's my list for my autoresponder. And when do I want this to go? Immediately. And it's going to go in every day of the week, 24-7. This is the email we just spent a lot of time composing. So now I'm gonna, if I do save here, it will literally save everything we've just got done doing, but it's not, nothing's gonna happen. The autoresponder will still be inactive. But if you click on save and publish, right? Once we do that, it's gonna take us back to our list or our autoresponder, I'm sorry. So you can see now that this autoresponder is on. So now when somebody opts in to your landing page and your landing page is connected to this list right here, Sand Prospects, this email will go out. Hopefully they don't get this one. So that's how an autoresponder works. So what I did though, I just showed you how to create the first one. This is the one that they'll that will get sent out immediately. So to do, you know, if you wanted to send six emails total out, you'd have to do five more, right? And attach them to this list and you would put day, you know, so your next email autoresponder you configure will be day one, then two, then three, right? For as many days you want. And you don't have to be in order. You can say, yep, for, you know, first one goes out immediately, maybe the second one, the next day and then wait a day and you can send another one wait two days and send another one right so you'd have numbers like zero one three five you know nine or something right so they don't have to all be consecutive so i hope you enjoyed this video i know it went on a little long i'm going to show you a little bit more details in the email editor maybe in another video because this thing will be way too long for the both of us and especially you so with that in mind I hope you have a great day, and thanks for watching my email. And if you got any value out of this, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. Any questions, leave a comment below because I'll be glad to answer it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions at all, leave a comment in this video. I love answering comments, and I reply back to each and every one of them. And also, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. 